watching Right Arm on the CTD Sportsnet Canada Network. Our top story tonight features a group of Canadian skateboarders that, dare I say, are completely stoked by the idea of being able to chase glory at the Olympics. These kids have fully embraced the competitive side of skateboarding, and they're ready to take their athletic prowess to an international stage. They've got nothing but gold in their sights. They hail from all parts of this great nation and have congregated in Ottawa in search of advancing their athletic skateboarding abilities. Here we have a perfect feeble backside, and I don't just mean the athlete. This athlete is sponsored by Cushlord Magazine, and we can see why. Yes, I am a bit hungover right now. Um, I don't know, I would say the challenge really is just trying to stay awake while I'm skateboarding, when I'm hungover. Yeah. Whoa. Well, I just thought for one second that I had a fucking team on my hands. Jesus Christ, what are you people doing? So, uh, this one's gonna work out the old drinking arm, because I know you guys are good at that. I'm gonna get a nice, uh, and, uh, and, uh, oh, now let's get a couple on the hammies there. Melons, I want melons, everybody. How's this, coach? I'm working with a bunch of idiots. Indeed, all of Team Canada agrees that since meeting Coach Tyson, their whole vision of skateboarding has been turned right side up. He's really hard on you, so it's like, pretty stoked, but like, I've been waiting for years for this man, like, I just like, can't wait to get on that podium, maybe. If we're, uh, if we're actually going into the Olympics, we gotta, we gotta clean up our act, okay? So I'm gonna reword what I want you guys to do. I just want you guys to land something off that rail. You guys can pick what it is, but land it for fuck's sakes. One, two, three, Canada! Ready? Go! Go! We're here at CrossFit NCR, a recognized international Olympic training facility. Uh, it's probably the best one in the nation. All my clients come here, the strongest people in the world, the fastest people in the world. So I brought these guys here today just to, to you know, work on that stuff with them. I had a list pretty high in terms of quality. Uh, I didn't get the list I was asking for, I got these guys instead. Uh, but you know what, I feel pretty confident that we can work with them to make them some of Canada's finest. Guys, what the fuck, man? It's not what you think it is, it's chalk! Come on! Jesus Christ, I don't even, oh man. It's a real tough bunch. Right now we have the captain that's taking the lead. Um, if I had to put any money on it, I'd probably put my money on him. Uh, not looking to win any money, though. I go in there, I give it 110%. I see these guys giving 110, but that's why I say to myself, I gotta give it 220. I gotta give it at least twice what they're giving, because they're not giving me shit in return, you know? This isn't even teamwork, this is me, baby. I am Canada. I hold it the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Canada! This is the best fucking country in the world! <laughs> End of interview. Skateboarding has finally begun to drift away from the gutters of artistic expression and into the spotlight of physical excellence. That means no more fun and games for these bright and untiring young Olympic hopefuls. It's time for them to take skateboarding to the next level of athletic authenticity. It's time for them to win. Well, you know what? Every time we go out there, we try and give it our all. But like, you know, we're always trying to improve. We can always do better. And uh, if you ask me, like, yeah, it's pretty, uh, that race is pretty bullshit. I'll see you next year. Peace, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. Well, to be honest, like skateboarding now that like they said it's gonna be in the 2020 Olympics in Japan, like doesn't really matter. Cause like at the end of the day, like, I'm still just gonna go and like skate with my friends and like get super fucked up. So whether I'm in it or not, like I could fucking care less. From total skids to golden beauties, these Olympic hopefuls have sure come a long way. Red Arm Priscilla and we wish all these fine athletes nothing but success on their quest for magnificence. 
Well, that's all the time we have with you tonight, folks. Up next is Spare Bearings with your host, Pat Flack. This is me, Bert, and my partner, Priscilla, saying, keep on pushing. Right arm.